Excellent. So, oh well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, <laughs> Elise. Um, so guys, today I've um, managed to secure some time with the time zone with the lovely Elise from Get to Workbook. Um, and so we're going to have a little conversation just about the creation of it and um, just a little bit about the story behind uh, the amazing products that we've been stocking for a couple of years now. So thank you so much, Elise, for joining us. It's thank you. Yeah, it's, I'm, so, I'm so excited to be here. And you're right, it's like not a joke to get the time zones right. So I'm yeah. glad this worked out. Yeah, yeah, we've managed to do it quite well. I'm pretty proud. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so can you, um, I think we'll start off with just if you tell us a little bit about yourself and the Get to Work book. That would be wonderful. Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Elise. I live in San Diego, so California in the United States. And um, I have two daughters um, and we're, they are seven and five and almost, I mean, almost as long as I've had them, I've had Get to Workbook, which is my planner <laughs> business. Um, it started in, the idea for it started in 2014, but I officially launched in 2015. And um, it's, an, it's a planner that has some goal setting features to it. So I call it a workbook um, and we do two different editions. One goes July through June and one goes January through December. Um, and then from Get to Workbook, from the main planner, there's been a lot of different, you know, kind of add-on products or um, notepads and notebooks that have grown out of it. Um, and it's been really fun. I mean, I, I love, I love doing it. It's, it's a planner that I really, truly use. Um, and so I love it as, um, as a consumer of it as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan as well. Um, <laughs> Thank you. I love it. It is uh, the first, the first goal setting and weekly planner that I found just kept, kept me focused rather than uh, giving me so many things to do. Um, it was just really clean and easy and yeah, I'm, I love it. That's it. great. I, I love to hear that. Yeah. I mean, it, this obviously same for me, you know, looking yeah. for something that wasn't going to over structure, right. I think it can yeah. be really easy to suddenly you just, you're spending all your time just like writing as opposed to yep. doing. Um, so yeah. that's good to hear. Yeah. And that is a trap. That's a trap for young I know. I know. I know. <laughs> over engineering their week and, uh, and overthink, you know, we have a habit to overthink. So having anything that can help you just clearly map it out mm -hmm. and keep it simple and yeah, get you, yeah. get you streamlined. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I'm guessing that um, having the gorgeous children that you have <laughs> um, was you. the inspiration for the get to work book, having that added responsibility and the added, I mean, we call it mental load. I'm not, I'm sure they call it in the States, but just having that mental load of parenthood um, yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah so I was think that the inspiration for it? Definitely part of it. Um, trying to stay, yeah. try, trying to stay organized and having just one place for everything. And then I had um, done a few different small business projects before, you know, so yeah. I had an Etsy shop and I had other things that I sold. And so looking for something that could structure my own small business and my own um, process was something I struggled to yeah. figure out, um, you know, I, I always was like piecing together a lot of different things. And it wasn't until yeah. Get to Workbook when I realized that, oh, like, you know, goal setting and helping people set goals, like that's what the business can become, you know, that's what it yeah. can be. So yeah. it kind of both, all of it together, like it all, it all um, accumulate, come, come, came together. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Then, yeah, having kids and then like trying to figure out like what, what is my niche, you know, and, and what, what ties it all together. Yeah. The, um, because you're, you're a maker of, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of things you love to create. Um, mm -hmm. That's one of the things that first drew me to the get to work book and to you as a, as a, um, as a creator was the fact that you are very much hands-on um, mm -hmm. create things and so you make your own clothes mm -hmm. yep <laughs> <laughs> I love it I absolutely love it because you you share some of the process of doing that mm -hmm. um I think there's cross stitch yes yes you've been creating true. your own cross, cross stitch. yes I did um in in March I debuted this 
um, cross stitch pattern that like yeah. really came to me so fast and, and was extremely fun. Um, I haven't touched cross stitch since then, but I'm yeah, sure it'll come back, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it comes in waves. You sort of, exactly. you know, it's kind of like for me with journaling. Sometimes I journal and then I'm like, okay, next. Nice. I'll move on to this and then come back and then go on yeah. again. <laughs> yeah, it's, and I'm always like, it's always going to be there for you. You know what I mean? Like yep. you take a break from a hobby, but when you come back, it's still there. Like, no, you didn't yep. lose anything. Yeah. <laughs> and so what are some of the other um, projects and things you've got going on at the moment? Yeah. Um, right now I am really into <laughs> pottery. I um, got yep. a pottery wheel for <gasps> like kind of like it's a Christmas gift. Yeah. yeah. And so that's been really fun to practice, um, yeah. practice throwing again and, and go through the process. So I'm really interested in that. Um, I always yeah. knit, you know, I pick up knitting yep. and back and forth, you know, it depends on the season. Um, I don't have much need for it in San Diego, but I still, <laughs> I love to knit. It's so fun. Um, yeah. And then kind of a hobby that I hope to get back into, like, is just gardening, like just outside, just small veggie garden. I'm like, not great at it but I enjoy it a lot. Yeah. I am adept at not keeping plants alive. So the only <laughs> plants that I can keep are these ones, you know, that you yes. see here where they just have a lot of those. Water. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah. still, and still it's a mm -hmm. miracle that that is, mm -hmm. is there. I walk around and I'm like, I created life. <laughs> Look at this, it's still alive. Totally. Totally. Well, it yeah. looks great. Thank you. Thank you. The one plant that I've got on display. <laughs> um, the other thing, oh, about the pottery, about mm -hmm. the pottery. Um, do you find, and I think this is probably the same with uh, most crafts and, and things that you make, is that you don't need a screen ah, to do it. Yes. So it must be lovely to disconnect as well. Yes. It's not only, yeah, not only do not, you can't have a screen for it, um, but your yeah. hands are filthy. So you can't even like take a break to check your phone, you know, like it, <laughs> it's, it's a very set the phone down project. And yeah. um, this, this whole year, you know, has been so challenging and trying to yeah. have some sort of schedule and some sort of balance. And I've yeah. become completely addicted to all the apps and all the news and all the scrolling. <laughs> and so it's, that's been such a good thing to be able to yeah. kind of separate yeah and right. I can't even watch like I can't even like have tv or anything I'm like in my garage so sometimes I'll have podcasts but a lot of times just music and my brain yeah. is like kind of shutting down or you know focused on this and and it's been yeah. really good yeah. yeah yeah I think um yeah I gave a uh, hand building pottery I should have I'll show you later how great yeah. they are it's like yeah. when I told my mom I was doing it she's like oh great so you're gonna have a lot of really bad pottery around your house and I'm like yeah <laughs> yeah I guess who's getting it for their birthday mom yeah. there it's is such probably. a learning curve I know yeah. like it's such a process and and like it's it's an art but it's but a science where, yeah. yeah but that's where the where the the magic is isn't it because like it's the process that's actually um that that drives your focus and and gives you that joy mm -hmm. I guess is mm -hmm. that that process as opposed to the outcome unlike right. you know a lot of things with the digital you're going for an outcome you for know sure. and and with our work you know so hobbies yeah. are important for the process I think yes yes definitely <laughs> yeah definitely. can you share with me one of your favorite customer stories Oh, um, I yes, I love this question. So my favorite, this is just a general first, then I'll do a specific. Yeah. Um, I love when people, you know, go to check out and they'll say like, this is my fifth year. Um, <laughs> you know, like they've been doing it for five years. I, I also yeah. love when people say, I tried something else last year and now I'm back. Like I'm always, <laughs> I'm always like, welcome back. Um, I think like yeah. finding a planner is so hard. Um, yeah. And so I get it. Like I, I understand I understand wanting to stick with it. I understand trying something else. I'm always like, I'm so glad you're back. It's great to see you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I have a customer who uses the project breakdown page. So yeah. that's a, a page where you take, you know, take a big goal and break it up into smaller steps. Um, yes, exactly. Um, and she <laughs> uses, she uses the notepad and she uses yep. them for her kind of morning meditation. So yep. every day, you know, she writes the day's date. 
And then she goes through and she has figured out a different item that she puts in each box. Like I honestly, you know, it's, it's her thing. It's really hers, but I think it's like something she's grateful for something that's on her mind. Like, it's just a way that she starts her day. Some people call them morning pages, which I don't do, but I love that she does. Um, And so that's an example where, you know, we talked about earlier. I like that the planner isn't trying to tell you like how to use it. It's like, this is one way. Like sometimes I say like, this is how I use it, but I, I love when people kind of create their own path for it. So that's one of my favorite customer sample examples. Yeah. I love that. I love that. I love being able to use, um, because as you said, you know, planning is so personal and how we organize ourselves is so dependent on, um, you know, what we've got going on, the things in our life, the people in our lives, the the Mm -hmm. needs that we have. And so having something that's not saying, okay, well, you know, this is your, this is how you do it. You know, just saying, this is a layout that works with however you want to work. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, create, create your day kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. And I think we you know, again, we kind of talked earlier, people I think can get caught up with, am I using this right? Like I hear that a lot. Yeah. Like, is this the right way? And, um, trying to like stress there isn't a right way. Um, but yeah. I think for some people that can almost be more overwhelming, right. Cause then it's like, yeah. oh, I have too many, too many ideas. Um, and so again, like trying to model, I try to share on the Instagram feed, like how different people use it. Um, in order to like give some sort of, um, some sort of like different, like different right way for you. Right. Like you're like, Oh, this, this will work for me. This will work for me. And, and pulling those different. Yeah. Together. Yeah. And that's really a a really important thing is, um, understanding that if you, if you, I guess it's the concept of constraint where, Mm. where Mm. if you have, you can do anything and you've got mm-hmm. a blank piece of paper. You're like, how, how do I even I get started? Whereas if yeah. you've got a layout that allows you to go, okay, well, you know, these boxes can be used for this yeah. and these boxes can be used for this. And then suddenly you've got some spots and you can create your own, but it's that constraint that yeah. the get to work book provides every week. Plus my favorite is at the end of every month, there are reflects and reset mm, pages. Yeah. I just yeah. think they're so important. And yeah. the fact, um, yeah, I, I love that from that you created your your big dreams, daily joys yes, journal the, from that the journal. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. which we've got as well. Oh Easy. good, good. Yes. Yay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I um I it's it. It's that same. So in, in the planner, of course you have it like as a monthly format and then in the journal it's weekly. And so there is a chance and I, I do both. Like I personally use both, um, because there, when you scale down to a week, like you always have different things than that end up being important at the month. Right. And I, I've just found that so much of goal setting has to do with reflection and has to do with like you know, where am I at? Where did I come from? Like this past couple of weeks, how has this felt? And then where do I want to go from here? Like if I don't do that reflection, my goal setting feels kind of um, abstract or it feels like too influenced by other people. You know, it helps if I I do that personal. Yeah. Yeah. I find, um, yeah, reflecting each week gives you, because how often do we just have things coming at us from everywhere all the time and it's becoming yeah. more intense mm-hmm. um especially with the last couple of years like it hasn't mm-hmm. it hasn't you know been easy for anyone to manage um right. yeah the the additional load of a pandemic on top of mm-hmm. everything else mm-hmm. so I find that reflection is really the only way that you can um find what you did well and um you know, choose to do more of that and, you know, make, yeah. make conscious, intentional choices because without reflection, you're not, you know, you can't really, it's kind of like analysis, you know, you're mm-hmm. analyzing the week before to understand what and make conscious, intentional choices for mm-hmm. the following couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. I, I think if we don't, if we don't do it, um, we can end up like continually setting goals that we don't reach 
um, yeah. or continually having like extreme expectations, you know, and something I talk about in the journal and like try to stress is just like not making your check-in, not making your reflection, this like emotional, sad, you know, <laughs> like, you know some people are like, oh, I got nothing done. And then they have this like almost guilt and they feel yeah. bad, you know, trying for the next week. And I'm always like, that's, it's just information, you know? So if you yeah. wanted to run five, t- five times last week and you ran yeah. zero times, then this goal, you, you know, this week, maybe you want to run once. You yeah. want to get outside one time, you know? And so trying yeah. to use it to just like set your expectation instead of yeah. being continually feeling like we're failing ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, um, I think that's how you build confidence in yourself mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. through the, the tiny steps. And once you have that confidence, then you can, you know, you can kind of do anything. Once yes. you understand what realistically you can do in a week, um, yeah. that's when you understand how to set goals that you can achieve and yes. see. Yes, you know, exactly. A, and and I think a it's a wonderful delight. <laughs> right. And I think it's just, you know, it's practice. It's it's practice setting goals and seeing them succeed, or it's practice like coming up with a really big idea and then executing, you know? And and so the next, and even when you and we talk about, you know, I talk about this a lot, when you fail. Um, you are able, you still gain so much information. Like you still learn so much about maybe why it failed or, or um, you know, for you, I'm sure there's plenty of product that you stock that you end up having to really mark down, you know, or, and then you learn, you're like, okay, that, that's not going to click. Like that, that's not what they want right now, you know? And so it is good information, even when it's, oh, so frustrating. Yeah. 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 And when, um, yeah, and I feel like people tie their their value as a human so closely mm. to what they achieve. I know, and it's I know. Um, it's really, um, yeah, it make it makes me sad because so much of our worth is nothing to do with what we achieve. <laughs> right, but right, right. at the same time, you know how you know um, using a progress or using incremental steps to achieve something is more about the process and taking right. time and understanding yourself and understanding what you're wanting. Um, yeah, I really, really kind of believe and it's taken me a long time to unhook from <laughs> achieving, <laughs> having having my worth tied to what I achieve. Um, right. But getting there, it's still in progress. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all, that's all we can do, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's exactly right. Yeah. So um, tell me about your working life. So, you know, how do you, uh, what's the first thing you do when you sit down in your workspace? You know, how do you clear your head and get yourself ready? Yes. Um, so this past year has, is a bad example <laughs> because it's been, um, you know, my kids have been home and if you kind of hear them in the background, they're actually home today. Um, but so I have really struggled because I recognized this. I always sort of knew, but I think this year I recognized even more how valuable like large stretches of time were. Right. And I used to have my kids went to school and I had childcare. And so, um, piecing it together has been difficult this year, but I still know a lot of what, what really helps, you know, um, me feel set for the day is to like visually clear. So, you know, so clear my desk, um, just the act of like putting things away, um, is so helpful and gets me in the right framework and then clearing my email. So I only do my email. I check my email. I respond to email at my desk and making sure that I start a work day with that email either cleared or like very close to clear, you know, you maybe sometimes I'm like thinking about, about something I can't respond, but, um, those are two steps like that clear desk and that clear email. And then I feel like I can kind of take a deep breath and start, (laughs) which is good. Yeah. That's a really great way. I leave my emails for lunchtime and I probably shouldn't because I tend to, and I've started to recognize myself that I'm thinking about them. Yeah. And like some, some, like I I find that sometimes, so 
I struggle to look at them and then, yeah, I think about them. Right. But mm-hmm. if I, if I don't look and I don't know what's there, that can also be stressful. Right. Like yeah. for me, like, cause you're like, what, what, what is there? So, um, I <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I could wait yeah. until lunch, but I think I would worry what's happening. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're taking it off your plate, really. You're yeah. taking it off, off your mental plate. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Excellent. And what can you, like whenever you're getting into your crafting, your craft, your, your making um, mindset, what, what, you know, what can you not do without, I guess? Mm. Yeah, I think I like to, I, I, I always, so I guess part of, because of how I work, you know, yeah. right now, just being busy um, with the kids here and work, I try to really batch even yep. my hobbies, like even my fun craft things, I still like mm-hmm. to think like, okay, today I'm, you know, for sewing, for example, like today I'm going to like cut out my pattern and like, that's yep. it. Like, I, I'm just going to try to get that done. Or with, with pottery, it's like, you know, today I want to throw, you know, six little bowls or, or whatever. Like, yep. so I like to set a little, a little mini goal um, yeah. even for my fun stuff, because it kind of yeah. gives me like a, something I'm working towards. And, um, then I also have like a stopping point. Um, and I'm not just yeah. like stretching. <laughs> so I, I, yeah. I like to have it. And sometimes it's written down. Sometimes it's just in my head, but I like to have kind of like a, what am I trying to do today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think within, um, and again, it's that constraint, you know, within every um, mm-hmm. bit of freedom, there has to be structure. And yes, yes. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a big believer in that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I suppose that's why I love planning and I love stationery mm-hmm. and I love all of this because, you know, that's how you, um, it's through that structure of, you know, your planner and, and setting up your day that mm-hmm. you're able to have the freedom to be creative. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think, you know, you said it earlier, how, um, when you, like when you have that framework or you it's a blank piece of paper is so overwhelming. Like yeah. for me, it's like a, a weekend of no, of no plan at all. Um, is almost like, ah, like, I, I feel like I could get yeah. almost like, I, I'm like, what should I do? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. or even like, how, how do I relax into that? <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm better, I'm better to build something into it. Um, some sort of framework into it otherwise it can it can feel like too much sometimes yeah and also I find that if I don't um have some kind of constraint around especially relaxed time Mm -hmm. I feel unproductive at the end of it I know and I think that's because I don't um you know I don't necessarily say you know well you know for three hours I'm going to watch tv so I'll you know I'll choose to watch tv for probably four or five hours and then I'll be like nothing done (laughs) (laughs) right and it's like if you just if you knew that like Friday afternoons or um that you knew you needed like a midweek Wednesday afternoon you know like if if you gave yourself that time then it could be enjoyed so much less with so much less guilt you know yeah that's exactly right and we should we shouldn't feel guilty no 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 it's important to build that in Mm -hmm. exactly yeah um I have a little quiz that I like to do which is a one or the other and it's one of those ones I'm just going to put down the blind a little bit because I know you're looking like you're getting sunburned here yeah (laughs) which is very possible in Queensland (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so this little quiz is a one or the other so I'm just going to run through them Great. and answer quickly. And if you would like to uh, expand on anything, let me know. Uh, okay. Digital or analog? Definitely analog. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. Early or late? <laughs> uh, early for sure. Yeah. Quiet or noisy? Definitely quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Inside or outside? ah I, like I I want to say outside I feel like that's the right <laughs> answer but the truth is inside the truth is inside. Yeah. <laughs> are you a hard cover or a soft cover girl um I think I am hard cover yep all the way yep yeah introvert or extrovert definitely introvert I can fake it but I'm an introvert <laughs> uh pen or pencil 
Pen for sure. <laughs> yep. For sure. <laughs> and the most important one is coffee or tea. Definitely or coffee. Neither. Coffee, 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 coffee. Yes. Coffee yes. girl. <laughs> yeah. Did we match up on all those? Uh, most of them, yeah. I yeah. think I'm a, a um I'm a soft cover for the oh, okay. most part because I love yeah. a bit of um I'm a fidgeter, so I love mm. to like bend my notebook, yep. <laughs> which yep. is probably not the best thing for them. Yeah. But yeah. 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 And I'm a definite pen girl. Yeah. Pen for sure. All the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even like when it means that my book is all crossed out instead of yeah. like erased, I, it's still yeah. pen is pen is it. And um, I try to not like we didn't even, you know, we didn't talk about this, but I I know that some people can really struggle with a new notebook or a new planner because you're like, oh, I don't, yeah. I don't want to ruin it. You know, yeah. I don't. And I'm just like, you have to I even like tear that first page, like do something to get over the guilt of starting it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly that's so right. Um, yeah. one of the things I wanted to before we before we head off, I wanted mm-hmm. to um tell you how much. There was one thing that you do that I have found works so well for me and I'd never even contemplated it before. And it's such a simple thing, which mm. is when you completed something to highlight it. Oh, as yes. opposed to crossing yes. it out. Yeah, I, I have this is this is my current what planner. <laughs> and if you look, it's all like yellow, yellow, highlight, highlight, highlight. <laughs> I love it. It just, yeah. um, because how, you know, how often do you cross something out and then you're like, oh, what was that? And you can't read yeah. it because you crossed it out. Yep. But if you yep. highlight, then your page is full of color and yeah. there's just some kind of psychological, um, you know, win for you having yes. seeing all that color on the page and being like, yeah, I did that. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing that people tell me that they do now. And I just love yep. it. I love to hear that. Yeah. So that's great. That's great. I'm I'm an advocate for it. I tell people it was my idea. <laughs> right. I don't care. As long the more people that do it, the better. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. I just want to say thank you so much. It's been such a pure joy to talk with you, you. and to to go through all of this um, with you and talk about where the Get to Work book and the and the Big Dreams Daily Joy Journal comes from, um, and to understand a bit about your life and and the the life of a maker and a creator so it's thank you been really beautiful thank you so much thank you Lee. such a pleasure I'm, I'm really glad this worked out and I'm so glad yeah. that in Australia people like get to work book that's great they <laughs> love it they love it Good. I start getting emails like I've already started getting emails for oh, the God. new year and I start getting them in about February and then also in early early October it's just like are you yeah. perchance getting the yeah. get to work what's book? happening that's what's so good yeah, I Good. love it. And That's I get great. that feedback as well. You know, this is my third year. This is my fourth year. I love Yay. it. I'm so glad to find someone in Australia who stocks it, you know. All yes. That. Good. That's Absolutely so awesome. Absolutely love it. So, thank you. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Elise. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Sounds good. Thanks.